Men's soccer kicks off this weekend as we're excited to have on the line today the 2019 CAA Offensive Preseason Player of the Year, Philip Goodrum from UNCW. Philip, thanks for joining us. How was your summer and the preseason for you and the Seahawks? Yeah, this summer went well. We got the whole team back in here early and started doing captain's practice and uh, we've had some good results this preseason so far. And so, you know, as an individual, I feel very prepared for the season. And uh, as a team, I think we're more prepared than we've ever been. So we're just ready to get going this Friday. You're part of a UNCW program that has enjoyed a sustained run near or at the top of the CAA. What are the expectations around the program this year? Yeah, so the goal is to win a CAA championship as always. And we've fallen short of that goal the last two or three years. And uh, this year... We have the group that can do it, and it's about keeping our minds right and using our talent in every way. So we've added a lot of new freshmen this year, and we have some new faces in the group, but we're also returning an entire starting back line. And so this year we, can, we feel that we have all the tools to make it happen, and so now it's up to us to go out and do it. What are some of those tools or factors that you see going into this year that makes you believe this will be the team to capture that elusive CAA title? So I think the mindset this year is something that's changed. I think throughout the spring training and preseason this year, we've talked about uh, how this group can come together and how we're really a family. You know, how we can have the mindset to come in and take it one game at a time and not look at the big games, not look at, okay, we have a big game this weekend then we go out to a small uh, non-conference game. You know, we have to be consistent throughout the whole season, not start the season off flying and then drop off towards the end. We have so many good players, so many guys who can affect the game in positive ways that it's just about bringing the pieces together. And so we've brought in team rules that have changed our culture. We've brought in uh, VX Sport, which is uh, uh, GPS and heart rate monitors through our coach and athletic training support that is going to help us track what we're doing throughout every game and every practice and so there's definitely a different approach this season and you can see it in the guys and everybody coming out this preseason fighting for positions fighting for spots and you know to go out and beat Duke and South Carolina and Winthrop with uh with ease was it shows what this group is capable of and so now it's about fulfilling what we can do. Let's take a step away from soccer talk for a moment. You are from Charlotte, North Carolina. What made you want to be a UNCW Seahawk? Yeah, so when I was being recruited, uh, I was looking at mostly ACC schools and really wanted to go and look into the big soccer programs throughout the country. And I had a kid who was committed to UNCW on my academy team. And he said, he said the coach was interested in me and invited me down to come on his official visit with him. And so when I was a sophomore, I came down and visited UNCW and met the coaching staff and met the team and just saw the place and fell in love. You know, I saw I was here for a game when they played UNC Greensboro and it was an overtime win. And just to see the culture of the group and see how the guys approach the game and all that and just see this amazing overtime win, it was it just I fell in love right there. And so it has been the best decision I've made and it's been the best three years so far. And now I'm just ready to translate it into a CAA championship for this last season. Who in the professional ranks do you look up to or try to model your game after? Hmm. So right now I'd say I, uh, I, like I want to play like Mohamed Salah. You know, he's one of the best goal scorers in the world, and he's recently came up and won the Champions League with Liverpool. And, you know, I think uh, he's somebody that if anybody could model their game after, they'd be an outstanding player. And so watching him and watching what he can do for Liverpool, you know, if I could model my game to be anything close to him, I'll have a fantastic career. You come from a soccer family with your dad, your uncles, and aunt all playing at the Division I level. When you guys get together, how competitive are those backyard games? Oh, yeah. We are a very competitive family. And when we went to a family reunion over the summer, I think we played backyard football and gosh, it got crazy. The rain came and nothing was stopping us. But it is uh, definitely a big soccer family on both sides that I come from. And to get the support that I get after getting an award, after winning a game, scoring a goal, it just keeps motivating me and it makes it easy. So my family is a big part of what I do. And without them, I wouldn't, I don't, I definitely would not be where I am today. So it's 
but it makes for a fun environment at home. Philip, you return as the CAA Player of the Year, named this year's preseason Offensive Player of the Year. What goals this season have you set for yourself, and what type of legacy are you looking to leave on this program as you enter your senior year? Yeah, last year it was I had a little bit of success, and you know I think I still have a ways to go. And this year, I mean, my goal is to repeat and be CAA Player of the Year again, of course, and then be a Matt Harmon Trophy finalist. And I think with this team, my teammates that I have surrounded me, you know, uh, there's no ceiling, so we can go as far as we want, and as long as everybody stays focused. I want to achieve my personal goals and go on to the next level, play professionally. And, and you know, it's not going to happen with just for just me alone. I have my teammates around me who can set me up. And so I think if we can have the season that we're, that we're preparing to have, you know, everything's, everything's going to happen. The sky's the limit. Philip, thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck this weekend as the Seahawks begin their 2019 season. Thank you. I appreciate it.